so I figured I will start out this video with uh, the break, which I talked about a little bit in my last one, but um, it was too dark to see it. So I pulled off the tire, and uh, I'm really looking at it right now, but I was, it's not tightened up, but I was able to put it up there, put the brake pucks back in, and uh, the brake lever actually fits under the body now. It's really hard to move for some reason, but, you know, it fits under the body now, and I don't have to, you know, cut out like an inch above yourself. Uh, it should work, hopefully. The brake pucks that were on there are pretty good, but I don't know how long they're going to last, so. Um, here's where I welded on the clutch, on the other side, obviously, but fried all the paint off there. And as for my clutch, I am not too sure if I'm going to use it. Um, obviously I'm going to use the same design, but I think I'm going to uh, do something else because, like you can kind of see, but there's a lot of play in it, and this bar that it's on is really easy to bend. So with, between the play and the fact that it bends easily, I know that the plate, the pulleys are bolted to, I had to uh, hammer it out so that it's straight. Uh, with everything being so flimsy, I don't trust it with my 2 to 1 ratio. So, I uh, think that I'm going to take the pulleys back off and I'm going to start it all over from scratch. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to use this mount. Um, I probably could have had this in a little bit closer to that bolt, but I didn't have the mount on at the time. So. Maybe now that my mount's on, I can actually, you know, um, design it a little bit better. So, uh, I think that's what I'm going to work on today. Uh, just so that I can get it on there. I still don't have a new belt, but I can at least, you know, figure out what I need to do in terms of, you know, where the belt's going to go, um, and what position this shift lever needs to be in. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to work on that, so I will uh, resume it when I'm done. So I got the clutch mocked up now. Uh, I took the other one out, and uh, I already welded a bolt in, so I lost time. But I had another, luckily. And uh, you can kind of see the bottom, it's like really shitty. I had to weld that. Uh, it's a bolt with the head cut off in there to add support because I cut out the ridge. And uh, this piece is all bent up and stuff. You can't really see it, but it's bent. So. I uh, scrapped that, and I had some uh, other steel, and uh, I had a piece, but I threw it in the metal bin. Actually, no, I didn't. So here. And this is pretty thick. That's uh, a little over an eighth of an inch thick. Probably metric, but whatever. And uh, that's what I have the uh, pulleys mounted on. And um, I used a bar similar to the other one that I had on the clutch, but uh, this one didn't have a ridge in it, and it's actually thicker than the uh, piece that the pulleys are mounted on. So... Uh, have some uh, nice movement and uh, there's still a little bit hanging on the back back here I don't know if I'm going to keep that or not for a spring mount or not but it um, doesn't really matter at this point uh, it's still a little wobbly and I figured out it's because this uh, bolt like if I put it down too tight to the point where it doesn't wobble it's too tight to move and when it, I wiggle it around it loosens up and uh, then it starts to wobble so I'll probably get a longer bolt to go in there and uh, put a bunch more washers on so that it'll allow the, uh, this to move. I might put a washer in between it or not, I don't know. But it works really good. Um, get the bolt around the back. And uh, this is with the clutch out, tense. And you can see it has a nice tension. belt goes all the way around the pulley on the back here. And it goes all the way around this. And then, if you clutch in, I don't know how I'm going to link this up yet because it's a lot of travel. Might just, you know, put it down. But, uh, clutch in, uh, this is as far as it goes at the minute with the uh, end piece not cut off. And it's pretty straight off the uh, back. I'd show you, but it's a little shadowy. I'll show you, anyways. But, uh, it's pretty straight back to the back pulley. So, I'm sure if I shorten this up or even just like uh, cut a triangle out of it. Um, I'd have more room to go back and uh, have a lot less uh, slack, like it'd be straight all the way around. I need good belt retainers, but uh, you know, a good, nice, tense clutch is going to make this thing fly. So uh, I got to figure something out about that. Uh, I got to weld it up; it's just vice gripped on there. So 
Uh, I'm gonna do that, and I will zoom. Well, it's all welded together, and the uh, parts are bolted on. And uh, I stopped the clutch spring in there. This is the uh, stock yellow spring off of um, an MTD variable drive, which just had the mount is actually right where it's hooked on. But um, oh my God, is this thing tight? I think I might need a uh, softer one, but let me get my arm here. I'm gonna push as hard as I can with one hand. Uh, that's how tight that is. I mean, obviously that's with my hand, but um, you know, with the pedal it'll amplify it a little bit. But still, this is a little better. Yeah, that's really fucking tight. But um, yeah, it all worked out. I mean, let me line this. That's uh, with the clutch in. Uh, you can't really see it because the shadow, of course, is directly on top of the belt, but, uh, that's with the, uh, clutch, uh, out. So, uh, that'll be nice and tight. I uh, another spring I might try. It's over here somewhere. Oh, here it is. This one is the next one I was going to use. But, um, yeah, we're just going to try springs that I have, and hopefully I can find one that's, uh, semi-decent so that I don't have to, you know, give myself a hernia pushing on the clutch pedal. So now that that's all mounted up, uh, I think I'm uh, pretty set clutch-wise. Um, I need a new belt, obviously. I need to build the keepers. Um, you gotta get a smaller belt, obviously. This thing is fucking huge. But, um, yeah, so uh, that's where I'm at for that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next. Probably get a linkage. I might drill it down here somewhere instead of this hole. But, um, we gotta do something now. So, um, stay tuned. And I uh, will keep everybody updated. Thanks for watching.